This will be a full demo of Stride, a new MIDI controller. Stride has a simple interface to perform MIDI preset loading over both TRS or DIN connections. It provides a numerical display. It can be used as both a MIDI through and a MIDI splitter. It supports three types of TRS wiring schemes and the firmware is completely open source. You're currently viewing the production design concept, but I'll be using a larger handmade prototype in this demo. Here I have Stride connected to a Strymon Sunset using a quarter inch TRS cable. I already have the Sunset configured to listen for commands on MIDI channel 2, so I'll use the config button to set channel 2 on the Stride. Now I can scroll up and down through up to 128 presets stored in the sunset, and I also have constant visual feedback. If the highest or lowest preset number is reached, it'll cycle back to the beginning or end of the range. By holding either foot switch down, I'll enter seek mode. Seek mode allows me to scroll to a new preset without recalling it right away. When it's blinking, the next foot switch press will load the preset shown. This allows me to prepare to jump to a preset that's not in sequential order. I can also continue to seek by holding down the foot switch again without recalling the preset. Or I can cancel seek mode without recalling any preset at all by pressing both foot switches. Seek acceleration is a feature where if I enter seek mode and let the display scroll through a number of presets, the seek operation will speed up. In this case, I had the pedal set so the acceleration began after it scrolled through 10 presets. The number of presets where acceleration begins is configurable between 1 and 20. I'll set it to 5. I can jump to one favorite preset that I designate. This is done by pressing both foot switches while in standard scrolling mode. By default, the favorite preset is zero. After jumping to my favorite preset, I have the option of jumping back to the preset I was just on by pressing both foot switches again. I can also just continue using the pedal in any normal fashion after performing the jump. I can choose which preset is my favorite in the config menu. Note here that a dot will be displayed to indicate presets in the 100 range, so this is preset 125. Here I've connected Stride to a Source Audio programmable EQ using a full-sized MIDI DIN cable. This programmable EQ can store four presets, and I'll use it to demonstrate scroll limits, a crucial feature in Stride. I've set the scroll limit from 0 to 3, and now Stride behaves as though the other 124 presets don't exist. I can set both an upper and lower scroll limit so the range doesn't always have to start at 0. Say I want Stride to only cycle presets 3 through 9, I can easily make that happen. First I'll set the upper scroll limit to 9. Then I'll set the lower scroll limit to 3. MIDI typically implements what's known as a zero-based index. That is, the first preset in the system is usually preset number zero. However, some devices choose to designate the first preset as number one. The DSi Tetra is one of those devices. As you can see, this creates an offset where Stride consistently displays one preset behind the Tetra. I can compensate for that in the configuration. Now both Stride and Tetra indicate the same numerical preset value. The setting in Stride only affects the display value. Internally, all of the configuration features remain zero-based. 
I'm sure that you've noticed by now Stride has two MIDI outputs, a full-size DIN and a quarter-inch TRS. Both can be used at the same time. Here I have the Boss EQ and the Source Audio EQ set to the same channel to demonstrate. In the configuration I can change it so the commands only go to one output instead of both. Setting 1 will send only to MIDI out 1, setting 2 will only send to MIDI out 2, and the default setting of 3 will send to both. While on the topic of output, the quarter inch TRS is compatible with several different MIDI wiring schematics found in the wild. It can be configured by changing jumpers inside the pedal. The default is compatible with the MIDI standard wiring supported by pedals such as Boss. This is when the tip sends the data and the ring carries the power. The other two options include tip-only wiring found on pedals such as Strymon, Empress, and Maris, or ring-only wiring found on Chase Bliss. Stride also acts as a MIDI through, which is useful for pairing it with compact pedals that don't have a through output themselves. Stride is technically also a MIDI splitter since it has two outputs, and it's capable of passing all MIDI signals it receives through both of them. I have a MIDI controller off screen hooked up to the MIDI input of Stride that'll send commands to either pedal. Stride itself is set to control the boss EQ. Notice that the display reacts when it detects a preset change command sent by the other pedal. It'll stay in sync even if the command comes from somewhere else. If I don't want MIDI through, I can disable it entirely or have it go through only one of the outputs. A setting of zero disables through entirely. A setting of one will only let MIDI pass through MIDI output one. A setting of two will only let MIDI pass through MIDI output two. And the default is three, which lets MIDI pass through both. I'd like to give a shout out to Arduino and its community. Arduino was used as my springboard for programming Stride. Specifically, each stride pedal contains a complete Arduino Nano Every microprocessing board. With a full Arduino chipset on board, I'm also extending to you the ability to completely rewrite the firmware of this pedal any way you can imagine. It'll actually be possible to buy a stride, download the Arduino IDE, and create a completely new MIDI experience than what I originally conceived, right down to every last aspect of software and hardware interaction. I'm also announcing that the code for Stride will be released as open source, so you don't even have to be able to write your own firmware from the ground up. You can make minor or major modifications in the Stride code itself. Thanks for watching. Please use the link in the description to go to the Kickstarter campaign and share this campaign with others. I thank you for your backing and support, and I hope to get Stride in your hands very soon.